Hey, this is Rob Gill, Rob Gill Tea Channel, and today I'm talking to you about the uh, the impact of the coronavirus on on uh, real estate investing. It's become a bit of an issue for us. I mean, it's it's really getting around the world. So, um, how's it affecting buyers and sellers? What's it doing to the property market? I mean, everyone wants to know, and of course, I need to know today what I'm going to do about this. So. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them below and let me know. Let's get on with the video and let's talk about this. <laughs> so, the coronavirus and its effects on the real estate market. Well, I have to say, this is probably the time if you're a buyer to get into the market and I'll explain why because here's the first thing that's going to happen right what's going to happen interest rates have to come down if the economy is tanking all right the economy is like not doing well it's going down um, stock markets are crashing down at, at record rates right and people are pulling their money out of the stock market those that have got their money in the stock market are, are effectively losing money okay Let, let's 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 agree on that so where are we going to go with this? What are we going to do? And, and fear creates that stupidity that, that everyone's running, buying toilet paper. Oh God, I still don't know what, why people are buying toilet paper, but okay, everyone's cleaning out the shelves and buying all kinds of toilet papers and uh, heaven alone knows what else, all right? Um, as far as I'm concerned, in a few months when this is over, I'm going to get so many specials off the shelves, it's going to be unbelievable because nobody's going to need to buy anything, which is, which is great. But why would you go and buy property now just because interest rates are going down? Yeah, well, money is getting cheaper, right? But here's the thing to think about, right? What's going to happen, right, when money uh, starts to lose its value? And you're sitting with a whole lot of cash in the bank, sitting on it. And it's, become, it's going to become less valuable. I mean, if you're sitting with 10 million rand in the bank, it might be worth 5 million rand in 18 months' time if this persists. So let's be honest. I'd rather own some kind of a solid asset which might have some value in 18 months' time. All right? Not to mention, so if I buy property now and... It, it sort of crashes and it loses value and uh, it loses a, a percentage, let's say. I still own that property. I can rent it out. I can Airbnb it out. I can make money in a short term. I can make money in a long term. Or I can just keep it for the future. And somewhere down the line, this will all be over and it'll go back up in value. But it'll go up in value according to the value of the money at the time. Right? So... But if, if, if cash loses its value, let's be honest, if cash loses its value, if the economy turns on and, and there's a bad rate, what's going to happen? It's not going to come back. Generally, it doesn't come back. Okay? Money stays at that low value against other currencies. And, and it becomes difficult to, to, to regain that value. So what was worth a million rand 20 years ago is worth 100,000 rand now. And, and if you equate that to dollars, it's a different scenario. But in rands, that's, that's effectively the truth. And if you'd kept cash for that 20 years, you would have lost out. Now in a disaster, a national disaster like this, it's kind of a similar scenario in 18 months. Cash can crash. I mean, look at what happened in Zimbabwe. Cash can crash to zero. You could have millions in the bank and tomorrow it's worthless. You can't even buy a loaf of bread with it. So, my opinion is get real. You know, if, if, if you're running to sell your property because of this disaster, you're going the wrong way. And if, you, if you're not buying property because of this disaster, you're also going the wrong way. My opinion is buy an asset. Buy something that's worth something, whether it be gold or property or whatever the case. Buy something that's going to be worth something in 18 months' time or two years' time. Okay, something you can make money out of something that's an, a tangible investment. Now, the stock market, in my opinion, is a bit tricky at the moment because it is crashing and nobody knows when the bottom is. So if a stock starts at 200 Rand and drops to 100 Rand, you've lost 50%. And 
and you think, wow, it's really at the bottom now. No, it can drop to 50 rand, you lost another 50%. And then you invest again and drops to 25 rand, you lost another 50%. So that's where that's taking you. That's kind of tricky. If you buy a home or a property or a flat to rent out or something like that, you buy it with a view that you own that bricks and mortar. It's yours, okay? And you're not going to lose on it. And if you rent it out, someone's going to pay you to stay there. And property is going to start coming into demand. Because if this continues, right, materials are going to become scarce. It's going to become difficult to buy properties. Properties are going to become high demand commodities. People are going to need property because people are not going to be able to build them because there's no materials left to build the properties. Okay, so yeah, that's where, that's where we're going with this scenario. So yeah, that's why I say fear breeds stupidity. People run amok. People go crazy. This is the time to think, all right? And to quote Warren Buffett, and if you don't know him, he's one of the richest guys around in the stock market, made a lot of money, and he said, buy when everyone else is selling and sell when everyone else is buying. Now, you look at that analogy and think about it. When everyone's running amok and selling, everything's getting cheaper. That's a good time to buy. Okay. So if you buy property now, right, you're probably going to be in the pound seats in the long run. And not only that, you can start making stupid offers to buy the property as well. You're going to get it cheaper nine times out of ten just because of the way the world is running at the moment. So let's see this as an opportunity. See this as an opportunity for you to get into the market and start doing something. Yes, I know coronavirus is absolutely a nightmare. It's horrible out there. And uh, to be perfectly honest with you, we all wish it wasn't here, okay? But if you get an opportunity like this, take it and run. Look at the big companies, they're buying everything up. They're absolutely buying everything up and there's a good reason for it. We all know it's gonna be over sometime. We all know it's gonna get sorted out. And when it does, you're gonna be smiling, okay? So buy, buy, buy. Right, so don't forget, I sell property, call me first. So I hope that video was of some value to you and it gave you some reasonably good information. Please excuse my, my way of getting sound to you, but uh, that's what I got at the moment and that's where we are. <laughs> but yeah, at least you can hear me. That's the main thing. It's, it's quite important. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't for forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram, and then you get these videos first. Um, comment, give me comments. It's always good to have discussion about these things. And when the properties come up, I'll be advertising them out here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So grab them, grab them quick. Righto, till the next one. Cheers.